since relationships they never work I, I try to tell them over and over But they, they never listen because what well, love it hurts When it doesn't work, when it doesn't work Cut. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding, I'm not entirely cynical about long distance relationships Anywho, welcome! One of my Twitter followers, Corey, asked me if I could discuss this and kind of voice my opinion on the matter. Now, the fact is, I've never been in a long distance relationship. Well, kind of like when I was 13, I lived in one city and my boyfriend lived in like two cities over. And like we were teenagers and we didn't have cars, so that was kind of long distance. And there was a trust issue that was always lingering there. And, you know, it worked, kind of, but we're not together today, so. Anyway, I asked some of you guys on Twitter, thank you so much for replying to me. Some of you guys gave me some really interesting responses. The one thing that you all had in common was that it depends. Depends on how long it's going to be, it depends on how long the distance is, it depends on the kind of people that are involved, it depends on how the relationship started, blah 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 blah. And some of you guys gave me some really funny responses, like my girlfriend at Bonnie to Yo Clyde said, everything might seem peaches via phone, Skype, etc and it might turn sour apples after a few visits. That brings up the first instance I want to describe. So, there's like a few different instances that can put somebody in a situation of being in a long distance relationship. Number one, you meet long distance and you're like, oh my gosh, this person seems like super cool and I think that we could actually have something, you know? So you guys start talking and chatting. You have all this chemistry when it's online, but just like she said, you could end up meeting and being like, ew, like, I'm so not feeling this, you know? There's like a 1% chance that anything's going to come out of that. And if you guys happen to be those one percenters and you guys actually happen to make that 1% perfect pair, then kudos to you. Me personally, I prefer not to put myself in that situation unless, of course, there was that one unique instance where I met my celebrity crush online and he actually talked to me and he was like, hey, you, I like you. I want to get to know you. You wait for me until I get off tour and we can get together, then maybe you and me can be we. And I'd be like, oh my gosh. No, just kidding. I still wouldn't do that. But unless it was like a really, really, really unique instance, I would not go for that and I would not recommend it. Instance number two, you meet in person and you get a chance to spend a little bit amount of time. Maybe you meet at like an event or something and you're like, hey, this person is actually pretty cool. You know, I'd like to get to know them further but you know there's this long distance issue that we're both going to try to avoid just to see if we can spark something worth holding on to and so you decide to get to know each other I did that before he was pretty cool and I started getting to know him but in the back of my mind I knew that it was never going to go anywhere it's just not you know realistic which brings me to my next instance you meet like that and you get to know each other but then you actually plan hey I travel all the time, we're free, you know, let's try to make something happen, let's meet up again, and let's meet up again, and let's meet up again, and you guys keep meeting up and it's just working, it's working, it's working, hey, that might be an instance where a long distance relationship will actually work, but you know what will happen as a result? It will no longer be long distance, because at some point in time, in order to make a relationship work, a relationship involves the connection, the being there, the building experiences together, the building a life together. I mean, that's what makes a relationship a relationship, right? Otherwise, you guys might as well just be friends. Which brings me to my last scenario, which is the only scenario that I'd actually really support and really believe together. And you build that foundation, that bond that's so strong that not even distance can break it. That I will cross the ocean for you. You know, I know a couple people that were in that situation. For instance, my little sister. Her boyfriend graduated high school before she did, and they had already been together for a really long time, and they had already wanted to be together for a really long time, and he went off to another state, and they maintained their relationship. But, you know what they did? They ended up moving close to one another. So, like I said in the beginning, um, it's not something that I would recommend, and it's not something that I would want to put myself in a situation to be in, but... I don't knock any of you guys if you're trying. I don't suggest that you look for a long distance relationship because chances are it will not work. But if it's something that you're already into, committed to, you know, share your story. Actually, that's what I want to know. Have any of you ever been in long distance relationships? What were the turnout of those relationships? And are you still in them? You know, leave your comments in the box below. 
Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you can hit the subscribe button. Also, if you didn't see my last video, I did a breakdown of Novocaine by Frank Ocean right here. And if you want to tune in for the next breakdown, I'm going to talk about Kendrick Lamar's High Power. So, check me out. And if you have any other suggestion topics that you'd like to hear my take on, let me know. Till next time, it's Miss Ruby signing off.